Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to detail how to construct an OGIVE from a group frequency distribution. An OGIVE is also known as the Percentage Cumulative Polygon. Okay? So these names are used interchangeably. Uh, so to be able to construct an OGIVE, we need to have a group frequency distribution. This group frequency distribution represents the results of a survey of 52 respondents, and each respondent was asked how many Facebook friends they had. The first uh, four respondents, or four respondents, uh, indicated that they had between 5 and 18 friends. 14 respondents indicated that they had between 44 and 57 friends, and so on and so forth. If you would like to know how to construct an appropriate group frequency distribution for a data set that has 52 elements in it, or for any particular size data set, I'd recommend that you have a look at one of my previous videos, which goes through the steps for constructing a group frequency distribution. Well, this group frequency distribution is one that I've used through a number of videos, and I'm going to use this again to construct an OGIVE. Okay, so an OGIVE is a cumulative polygon or a percentage cumulative polygon. So for us to create the OGIVE, what we need to do is we need to create the cumulative frequencies. Okay, the cumulative frequencies are going to be represented by a capital F, and they're simply an accumulation of the frequencies as we go down through the classes. The question that we ask when we're constructing the cumulative frequencies is how many observations were less than the upper bounds of our classes? So how many observations were less than 18? Well, there was four observations less than 18. How many were less than 31? Well, there's the 10 and the 4 to give us 14. How many were less than 44? There's the 12, the 10 and the 4, which gives us 26. How many are less than 57? Well, there's the 14 and the previous 26 gives us 40. How many were less than 70? Well, there's the 9 and the previous 40 is 49. And how many were less than 83? Well, all the observations were less than 83, or the 3 that were in this class, and also the previous 49, which gives us 52. Okay. We could construct an OGIVE from the cumulative frequencies, but there's one or two things that I want to do with the OGIVE. For example, I'd like to be able to calculate the median, and I'd also like to be able to calculate the first quartile and third quartile, and then the interquartile range. So I'd recommend converting these cumulative frequencies into percentages, and then we use the percentage column to construct our OGIVE. So, one step towards producing the percentages is to produce what's known as the relative frequencies, or the relative cumulative frequencies, symbolized by capital R, capital F. And the relative cumulative frequencies are simply the proportion of observations okay, that are less than the upper bounds, the proportion relative to the total number of observations. So what we can see is that four observations were less than 18. Well, that represents four of the 52 observations, or four 52s. 14 were less than 31, so that's 14 52s. 26 were less than 44, so that's 26 of the 52 observations. This represents 40 of the 52 observations, 49 of the 52 observations, and finally 52 of the 52 observations were less than 83. Okay, so we're nearly there. Now that we have the relative frequencies, we scale the relative frequencies up into percentages to give us our percentage capital F column. Simply, all we do is we multiply the relative frequencies, multiply them by 100. Okay? Now we can use a calculator to do this. Uh, for example, 4 divided by 52 is equal to 0 0.0769 and so on. Multiply that by 100 to give us 7.69 and I'm going to round to the nearest whole number so this is equivalent to 2.8. Okay. Continuing 14 divided by 52 so we have 14 divided by 52 gives us 0 0.269 multiplied by 100 gives us a value of 26.9, which is equivalent to 27, and so on and so forth. We do the division, we multiply by 100 to give us our percentage cumulative frequencies. Do the division, multiply by 100 to give us the percentage cumulatives. Do the division, multiply by 100 to give us the percentages. And finally, 52 divided by 52 is 1, multiplied by 100 gives us 100. Okay, so now we're ready to go. 
Okay. So what we can actually do now is maybe I'll just grab a piece of graph paper here okay, to draw our ogive. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the class intervals and we're also going to use the percentages. The class intervals represents a variable. So what I'll do is I'll just do a horizontal axis for that. Okay, And the vertical axis here is going to represent our cumulative frequencies. So I'll just do a vertical axis here. So the cumulative frequencies is going to be symbolized by percentage capital F and the horizontal axis is how many Facebook friends we have, yeah, okay, or the number of Facebook friends, okay. Now what we do, so these are our two axes, so what we'll do is we'll graduate our axes to represent our intervals. Our first interval begins at 5, goes up to 18, the second interval is at 18 and goes up to 31, goes up to 44, 57, 70 and 83, and then we label them 5, 18, 31, 44, 57, 70 and 83. And what we'll do is we just put a little spring in here to indicate that this particular interval width does not represent 13 and it's not the same as 